And we're back. Okay. I won't be able to get Stormcallers packed until 32. <laughs> Mike says he hears people, so... So I can send that to, uh, or put that up on Discord later, so you can see what my fucking shared stash is looking like. That's not even including some of the junk that I just have stored in my Necromancer's, like, Ritualist's personal stash, too. It I'm is just, a little stupid. I'm just waiting for Noble to rejoin the game, and then I'll switch back over to the live scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me just a moment. Yeah, take your time. I found another MacGuffin that gives me plus one to my occultist stuff. Nice. And I can put it on. Yeah, I looked at my stash, just mostly just melee weapons. Uh, my stash has, especially considering that a lot of this stuff was like got with my ritualist I have just a ton of components like an absolute raging oh, fuck ton I have a page of just components yeah that's pretty much what I'm at like some of them like my bloody uh those cracked lodestones I have like 680 of them and then like, I have a page... Oh, I have two Avengers Crushers. Ooh, this one's really good. If I want to make, like, a Nature's Avenger character, I have, like, a bunch of just set pieces and, like, end-game legendaries sitting here. Yeah. Actually, that's why I'm doing this build, particularly because I have a couple of pieces of this Death Guards set. And that's going to be like my end game build, is using this Death Guards. Alright, uh, I'm going to run over to Rover Camp and turn in a quest real quick, if we have the shortcut for it. Uh, yeah, it should be the old Arcovia Rift. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be right by there. Yeah. Yeah. I've already slain money bags, Martin, too. That's those okay, large chunks of experience. <laughs> All right, uh... What the hell? How did we get over there? Oh, we went through... Where are we? The mines, didn't we? So, uh, the one that we want to teleport to is Twin Falls. Okay, so I finally got my aura. Okay. Do I just... Do I have to just have it on the bar, or do I have to use it, or...? Um... It, it's probably a toggle ability, so you turn it on and off. Yeah. Oh.
It should just have it turned on all the time, it, basically. It, is it doing stuff? Did it take a chunk out of your MP? Or of conviction? Yeah, it's on. Great. What the hell does this do? Oh. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Great. What the hell does it actually do? Oh. From the so from the sound of it, it lets you not die. Steps anywhere? No. It definitely says there are steps on the map. There are definitely not steps here. I found a staircase over here. Damn game not letting us turn the map. I mean, we can. Hold the... Hold your mouse wheel down and you can turn it. Can you? Yeah. Huh. How do you like that? <laughs> but there are steps over here that'll get us where we're going. Oh, I want to know what happened to these steps. Nope, it's just part of a bridge. It's just this bridge that's broken down. Yeah. Yeah, you can... I don't think I ever turned the map once in the entire time that I played through the game the first time. Yeah. That is the wrong way. We want this way. Yes, we do. Uh, that way looks like it's blocked off. It, it is. is blocked. So we do have to go around this way. did you guys get through here the first time? Because you guys came through this way. Yeah, Maybe sometimes it, it, uh, the blockades are randomized. They do change. I haven't played this game nearly enough to know that. Yeah. Hey, there's a quest marker up here. Yeah, that's where we were just at. Not, uh, not the one over there. There's one just up on the map. Where? Basically right where Noble's at. Hello. It's over this way. Oh yeah, Noble's fighting stuff. Alright. I got a blueprint for Venom Fang Oil, which is absolutely worthless to me. Because I've read that before. Oh, still killing stuff up here? Yeah, you are. Where we got the shrine? Yeah, there's still goons up here that Noble just started fighting. There's nothing up here. There were goons. I don't believe you. Like how you're faster than your whirlwinds. Yeah, they, I am. The stream seems to be sitting fine now. I don't know what yeah. happened there. I haven't had any leg spikes or anything like that since we got back, so...
Hey, some more junk. <laughs> and more components that I don't really need. And we do have to go back towards where Seraphim is, because this way is entirely blocked off. Yeah, I noticed that, and that's why I didn't go that way. There was junk to pick up. You motherfuckers shoot at me. How do you like being shot at? I don't know what happened there, that one skeleton ran at me and then just fell over. <laughs> you just pull a crocomire? <laughs> like, yeah, it just ran straight at me and just... Quick draw gloves? Any good? Need to be level 26. Oh, I can equip this. That increases my damage by off here. Yes, please. And it's better than anything else I've got. Okay, what the hell do these gloves do? Uh, they will increase my attack speed uh, by the amount my gloves currently already are. Uh, Seraphim. Yes? You might want these gloves. They do uh, have a thing that increases your... for ranged weapons, so... They're back here. I know you can't equip them. Well, actually, yeah, you can't. I can, yeah. Yeah. I can give them a try. I don't necessarily know that they're better than the ones I have on because I lose lightning damage. But... Okay. I'm interested in how the quick draw skill works. Yeah. Because it's just an on-hit skill, which is kind of everything that this build is. It's just a lot of on-hit stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's a chest. Money and more chilled steel. Yeah, yeah, level. There should be, I think, one more of the Forgotten Passages on this floor. We should probably go hunt that out real quick. Fair enough. That's not what I'm about to put here. Seraph and go and fight on his own while I pick up some scrap. I'm fine. I know. If I thought you were in any danger, I wouldn't have ditched to pick up junk. Oh, 
fucking die, dude. Thank you. Yeah, that's the other one up there. Oh, I already have this recipe, apparently. Yeah. Anything in the big room? No? Oh, there's some goons. I feel like we were supposed to go upstairs for something specific. I don't know. Oh, shrine's down here, so. Yep. Yeah, he despised with the Arcovian undead. Woohoo! There's a couple of blue drops. Yeah, I got something. Damn it. It's another thing for you, Thoriel. Nice. I'm yielding ripping of room. I'm right. actually going to keep that on. It's doing better. And demolitionist gear, if either of you are running demolitionist. Doomforged breastplate. I don't know if that's any good to anybody. Junk. Junk. Yeah, was it the Blood Reaper armor that you picked up? I gave you the other one? Oh. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. Because there's the second piece. That's actually part two of a set. Holy crap. I know, that right? That gives me plus 50% to bleeding damage. Actually, I've got plus four points to Heartseeker. I might even dump points into that just for the sake of giggles. At this point, I get an extra four points to it. I might as well. well. Let me know if you come across a two-handed gun at this point, because at this, I'd say about at this point, uh, a green gun might actually outdo what I have. Ego. Here's Balan also some thunderstruck gloves, which I know I just gave you gloves, which are probably better anyhow. Yeah, but, the blue ones are better. Yeah. All right. All right, I don't need anything else in that set of junk. That ring is better, though. And yeah, I guess I'll just use these gloves. Uh -huh. They seem to give me a little bump in attack suck. speed here and there. Yeah, they seem to be pretty decent. Damn it, I was looking at those boots. Which boots? The blue ones you just picked up. These boots? Yeah. Read faster. Yeah, I don't need them. Oh, damn. Dude, 
smacking the hell out of me. It's the rocks. Uh oh. Devil's Grin. Oh, that's a shield. I know, right? It sounded cool, and then it was like, oh, it's a shield. <laughs> It's a shield that gives plus one to all skills on the cultists. Okay. Well, I guess it's useful for somebody here. Are you even using a shield? I'm using an offhand. Oh, well, I mean... Same difference, I guess. Yeah. No, you can't block with an offhand. Hmm. Eh, not the what point. is that? What is that giant thing? Can you be more descriptive? Yeah, it's over here. Hello. Oh, him. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's, there's like of ten them. of them now. And now there's none of them. How did I pick up? A whole lot of change. Not shoulders for me. Not shoulders for me either. Fires might and high impact. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, there's a gun here that Noble just dropped. I don't know if it's useful. Uh, Plus, the judgment, probably not. So, yeah, I don't know. What gun? I think Noble just ran away with it. He would. <laughs> drops the gun and then... I mean, I was gonna look at it. Yeah, I don't know if it's good, because I don't use guns. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to town myself then, since I know Noble's there. I'm gonna take a quick look at something. Noble, where'd you go? I'm over here. Over where? Oh. Right here. Where's the gun? As... almost as good as the one I have. Uh... Shit. Uh, what else do I need in devotion? I need. Oh, okay. I need this one. I think I can't get that one yet. Um, where the thing of devotion go that I was looking at? That. I need this one, but I don't have the right thing for that. I now don't have those. Can't get that yet. I got all of this. Can't get this yet. Can't get that yet. This one point here? 
I don't know why though. Let's get rid of a point here and a point here. I'll dump a point into this and this. So. Hmm, I don't know where I'm supposed to go in my devotion tree right now. Um. So the uh, the thing that I mentioned to Noble is remember that like skills are self-sustaining. You know that uh, devotion, like the constellations, are self-sustaining. So if you max out, like if you needed something that uh, needed, say, one point of the primordial, and you put one yeah. to the crossroad, then you maxed out Eel. Well, Eel gives you points of the primordial, so you can. Like, it'll sustain itself. Right, I know, I you just, I don't to... know where I'm supposed to actually go next. Oh, okay. Yeah, you might have to, like, dump points into something, but I have no idea for your build. I know I am basically just trying to get a shitload of points into Eldritch and... Yeah, that just that. That and some chaos. Cause I need to max out both the gold the Assassinable Knight and uh the Abomination. Yeah, I need six in Chaos, ten in Eldritch, and ten to Primordial. Looking at the fucking like constellation map is just insane. It really is. There's just so much shit there. Especially when you consider the fact, like, if you include single class characters, there's 45 different character class combinations you can play as. And then the fact that, like, most, they're basically all the dual bit class ones have multiple viable builds. There's just so much dumb stuff to do. I don't know what to spend my points on now. Oh, it's five. Uh, never mind, I missed with that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up having to just look at this again later when we're not streaming to actually figure out what the hell you're doing. Do anything with this? Yeah. Because I could sit here for an hour trying to figure this out. Oh yeah, easily. Uh, take Noble's portal back. Ship us back yeah. in the right area. Oh yeah. I guess I'll start leveling my seal. Welcome back. We're just sitting here trying to kill each other. Mm. You know, in a game that doesn't have friendly fire. That box was empty, and I said, like, motherfucker. Hey, there's another box here. Oh, it already opened. Okay. And it. I didn't get anything out of it. I found a hole in the wall. Oh, yeah? Like, on purpose? 
No. I went on another adventure. Hooray, that hole in the wall has stuff in it. I remember this guy. Mostly because I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure he killed Noble at least twice in our fight to, to beat him. Hey dude, only one of us is allowed to play with cold shit. I've already got that covered, so you stay in your fucking lane there. I know, I think he's doing a pretty good job of it. Blueprint. I didn't have that blueprint. Is anything? Yep, something's coming out of the pile of bones. Always. I'd be disappointed if something wasn't. Me too. Mark of the Traveler. You know what? Let me go ahead and just put uh, that yeah. on here. I'm pretty sure Noble died at this part too. That's not how I remember it at all. Very much how I remember it. And I remember it because you died and then it wouldn't let you back in and you complained. Uh, that's not here. You sure? Yeah, that's the Steps of Torment. Don't worry, we'll be getting no, that. I'm pretty sure this little spot does the same thing. It's like, once you get in here and you start this fight, you, the gates don't move until it's dead or you die. Oh. Oh, it's dead. Lane's Virtue. I'll take a look. Okay, hang on. I'll get some chunk to sort out. Uh, Flames Virtue. Bleh, 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 bleh. That might be okay for now. That's useless. Frozen Core. You know what? Since I've actually started doing some of that, I wonder if I can... I hope it's not too late. Ah, fuck. And most of the rest of this is just a bunch of shit. 
Here, have a shot. Yes. Uh, you know what? That increases cold damage. It's got better armor. I'll take it. Uh, some chest piece that's kind of mediocre but increases lightning damage. Uh, I still wear that blue one that has the 12% all on it. Never mind. It's definitely better than the thing that I just found. And this ring... 6% all, 7% physical. It beats that. That shield can suck it. And I need to put my devotion point in. Yay, spiders maxed. Hooray. There's a spider. Hey. I spent all day looking at the devotion tree, and I don't think that's a very entertaining stream. Oh, I know exactly where I need to put that one. Uh, that was all downstairs, okay. wasn't it? Yeah, so that just looped back, and now we can just leave through the uh, door that's up over here. All right, let me just go out. It's over this way. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. middle's actually out, isn't it? Yeah, the middle one's yeah, that's what out it of is. this. Not leaving anything alive in here. What am I, a pacifist? Ghost. Ghost class. Pacifist run of this game would be interesting to see. I think it would be feasibly possible at all. I mean, it would just basically be a very low level run. Yeah. Whether or not it's possible is a different story, I guess. I assume through probably some stupid means it is. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Bunch of birds swooped down and started attacking Noble. I mean, they just kept flying into my murder rune. Yeah. How's that working out for you, by the way? They're dead. I, I started putting more points into it now. Like, it's really just a tank circle. Oh, yeah. This way. Hey, there's a quest marker over here. We love quest markers. Yeah, I just saw that myself. What was that even for? I think that's the one that the ghost lady gave us. Oh. She's way back there. Well, you guys want to run back for it, go for it. I'm not. 
Well. For hell, here, I'll just throw up a rift. Somebody wanna... I'll let you know when to pop one up. Alright. I think that actually gave us like an attribute point for clearing that quest too. It did. Hmm. Neat. <laughs> Take Noble's rift. Never mind. I'm. Um, yeah. I'll. Uh, okay. Onto it. Is that thing worth anything? Uh, that's a two-handed sword, so no. It's not worth shit. Conduit. Well, uh, uh, do. Two to all skills and arcanist. Jeez. The scepter is way worse than what I'm using, but it gives me plus one to all skills and all cultists, so I have to use it. Oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, not, I'm not really doing damage, guys. I don't know if you've noticed. That's true, yeah. I haven't. Mostly just because I show up, shoot everything with lightning, and some dies, so... Yeah, I'm just running in, attacking with blades. And... <laughs> blades, blades, and more blades. But also, I legitimately... can't... I can't see your damage, either, so... Yeah, that's true. My damage is melee attack and dude. <laughs> Alright, thanks. And then the rest is just 20% of all of your damage. Surprised all the birds showed up after the big one. Yeah, nice timing. And where are these guys coming from? Internet. You're technically correct. A noble, these aren't trolls. Sting. That's so one handed gun. I don't want that shit. Uh, why a one handed? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Yep.
We just completely didn't bother going to the steps of torment at all, and I'm saddened. Womp womp. <laughs> Let's see our reputations with both rovers and Arcovian undead go up a shitload. Let's go there. Eh. <laughs> hey, look at that, Ethereals. Yeah, okay, the blue gloves are kind of working out, because every so often they just let me fire really fast for a hot second. I think it's oh, only like, yeah. like, it's only like a 10% chance, but for like a full second I have like plus 100% attack speed. Oh, damn. So I just Especially launch off three ice. bullets in the span of a second. Why don't you do that over here? Where? Over here. Where? Over here. Where? As he's shooting at them. <laughs> Did it. Where over here, as you're still shooting at the goons? Codex of Reckoning! Sure, why not? <laughs> Oh no, my burb is tired. New burb. Good physique boots for level 30. Uh, I'll come take a look. Here. Oh. Hey, boots. Let's see. Mm, they're not half bad. Murder everything in this place. <sighs> hey, level twenty eight. I'm surprised that I'm ahead of you. But you've yeah. been running off and shooting everything. It's yeah. not just that. I think uh, Seraphim's got some other stuff that gives, uh, like, plus two. Oh, yeah. I might have some, like, really slight experience, experience bonuses. Yeah. I'm only also just, like, a fifth of a level ahead of him, so. Yeah. Let's make it a party. Why? Why not? I'm down. I'm down to party. My lady. I found my lady. Ah! Ah! And I got a pad roll on it. Oh. What is it? It's a two-handed bow that can actually roll pretty good, but rolled really bad. Oh Great. shit. Splores cover. Uh and a necromancer offhand. Nice. I'm That's junk. Uh I don't know if this is I mean the hell. You might want to take a look at that, Seraphim. It doesn't really do anything for lightning damage, but... No, that is way worse than what I have. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks for Explorers, Barbara, though. Yeah. The what? Oh, I think I discarded the wrong thing. Uh, oh, no, I the, didn't. The headpiece that I just dropped? Skull fetish. Yeah, damn it. I don't really need... I wonder really if I handed. can change class. I don't know. I'll take a look later. Plus for the curse of frailty. That's a massive upgrade. That was just yeah, that was a huge upgrade. Uh oh, got some good stuff. Yeah, I I assume that I think that was noble that dropped the gun. Which gun? Uh, in this pile of stuff over here. That might have been mm. me. <laughs> I don't generally drop things. Oh, uh, well, one of you dropped a really good gun, so... Oh, yeah, that was probably me. And yet, this one's even better. Huh. I drop things so y'all can take a look at them. Oh, yeah, this gun just has 36% all damage on it. I'm gonna head back to town... Check something quick. Was somebody I feel like collecting? I'm gonna have... Was somebody collecting Blood Reaper stuff? Me. I the have Thoriel's the metal. Got... You have it's... part of it. Let's see. As the Thoriel's got two parts already. Yeah. I'm right here. I might as well. Seeing as it's doing pretty good work. Alright, uh, I'll be back in a sec there, Noble. I'm gonna go and check something quick. Okay. There's something growling out here. Uh, yeah. I'll be there. Okay. Alright, uh, coming to you, Noble. I think you're still, like, right at the front of the village. Mm. Blood Reaper's Mark. Nice. Thank you. That's a new medal, and that's a good one. It gives me bonuses to anatomy of murder. Fuck skill is that? Mm. <laughs> Ooh, if I do that though, hang on. Bonuses to lethal assault. No. Well, that's decent. Do you have the weapon? Uh, which? The Blood Reaper's Claw. No, I don't. I do. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was at four pieces now? That's four out of five. Oops, Butterfingers. Thank you. Just gonna get a whole set on the way. Yeah, somehow or another I'm gonna be rocking like a level 20 set. <laughs> like, oh, holy shit. shit. Yeah, the only other no, sure the only that. other piece I'm missing is the other weapon, which is the Blood Reaper's Cleaver. Or Blood Reaper's Cleaver. Still, that fucking... It's a pretty decent bonus. Plus two to Phantasmal Blades as well. I have a belt that gives plus two to phantasmal blades. 
Please. Where did I have this right now? I'm actually using Phantasma Blades, too. It's <laughs> only like... It's not a great belt, though. It's like a level 14 belt. Oh, what the hell? It's... Still actually probably better than the thing that I'm using. Yeah, I mean, it's only like 6 damage difference in armor, but... Still, plus 2 to... Another two to Phantasmal Blades. Thanks. Should be four levels, yeah. Hold on to this. Yeah, my whole storage is just full of scythes. <laughs> yeah. Yep, no, yes. that's that's all it is. It's just a variety of scythes at different levels. And a bunch of helmets. Oh, I can equip uh something here. What would I gain the most off of? Probably physical. Plus 8% all damage. You know? What I need resilient plating. I can make one of those, and I can make me this Blood Sworn Talisman. I also almost have a full set. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. I just need a tome. I have no set pieces. Although my set really doesn't do anything for me. In fact, my set is going to screw me, I think. Because my, oh, wow. my offhand has plus one to all skills and a cultist. Uh... But the last piece of the set I'm missing is an offhand, uh, and the set bonus is plus one to all uh, all occultist skills. So, what's like, the eh. what's the full set bonus? Plus one to all occultist skills. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess at that point it just depends on if the offhand is actually better. Doubtful. Yeah, if I got that Blood Reaper's Cleaver, it would uh, give me plus two to all Night Blade. But that lap, that, uh, those two pieces that I just got, or, yeah, Here those one. two pieces just gave me, uh, what? Windcaller skins. Oh, plus, uh, two pieces of that will give you plus three to Storm Surge. Do you have the Blood Reaper's coat yet? The, uh, yes, I have yeah, the Blood Reaper's coat. Wait, do you have it? Yeah. Pass that to me for a second. I'm gonna go and I'll I'll be back. I I shall be back into this game in a minute. Uh, I did something stupid. Whatever. Uh, single player. I need to go on to my ritualist for a moment because <laughs> my ritualist has unlocked the ability to transmute set pieces. So I could turn oh, that blood reapers. It. Yeah, I could just turn uh, transmute that to the blood reapers cleaver, and I could have the whole blood reaper set. Good call. <laughs> so we're gonna log on to my god character for a moment. <laughs> now, where were you saying something about my skills now? Uh. Noble dropped an item that would give you a bonus if you got two pieces of the set to your Storm Surge and give you plus three to that. Yeah, that would be a nice boost. Well, where are you? Hmm? I was back at the thing. Which you thing? Wanna... Hang on, I'll come back. I just realized how slowly my uh, ritualist moves considering I've been yeah. sitting around with that fucking night blade. That's actually a much better armor too, jeez. Shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you, Bender. 
B N D E R. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Got it. Nice. <laughs> that just. I had to spend a few hundred grand of my, like, ten million on my ritualist, so I don't really give a shit. Shit, and it gives plus two to Torrent just for having this on? Jeez. Mm -hmm. I apparently was holding on to a lot of neat stuff. Yeah, yeah. holy you, shit. <laughs> you got any of the other pieces? Mm, no. No. Boo. Well, thanks for the one piece. Oh, it's Thoriel rejoining. That's why I lagged out for a second. Yeah. I'm coming back. There, thank you, Noble. I now have the full Blood Reaper set. Guess what I'm holding on to if I ever make another Nightblade, too. Can't uh, believe you got a full set. I cannot believe that either. In one, in one stream, a full set at that. In one stream, I have the full, like, level 20 <laughs> Nightblade set. Yeah, but to be fair, I mean, I gave you, what, two, three pieces? Three pieces. You, you gave me the claw, you gave me the mark, and you gave me an extra coat that I just reforged into the cleaver. Even still. So, I think I've only put, like, one point into Phantasmal Blades, and I have nine points into that skill. <laughs> That's a lot that's, of points. That's just how much that jacks up the phantasmal blades. Alright, I'm heading back to Smuggler's Pass. I need just a second. Also got a few extra points from Ring of Steel in my uh, Circle of Slaughter, which is nice. Actually, I mean, I've got extra points to everything in Nightblade. I don't actually have a single point to any of my Necromancer skills currently. <laughs> oh yeah, I should summon my blades. I did put down an offhand somewhere around here for Necro. I have both my uh, weapon slots filled. No. Yeah, because... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Padala's Will has a plus one to all Necro skills on it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I... Like, that Blood Reaper set, uh, two of the pieces are weapons. Wow. Yeah. So, unfortunately, fortunately, they're good weapons. I do a lot of bleeding damage right now. Actually, yeah, no, I do a disgusting amount of bleeding damage. How much bleed damage do you do? Um, my Phantasmal Blades on their own do 1,659. I gain another 58% damage from the Heart Seeker. And then... If I just scroll the hell down here... Uh, I gain another... In total, I gain uh, 205% bleed damage on top of that. That's solid. Yeah. My primal strike's hitting upwards of 8,500 now. Nice. Let's go kill this boss. He's not going to last very long. Or did he already get murderized? Yeah, I killed him while you guys were doing stuff, because you were taking forever. Oh, fine. I went around the corner to, to loot corpses, and it was just like, oh, hi, boss. Where the fuck do you think you're running away to, pal? 
Uh, the right. Here he is. Hey, buddy. It's Olgrim. Yeah, sure. Oh, wait. That's not what I meant to press. Yeah, yeah. I, I can help. Sure. Yep. Alright. I'll get you guys to Homestead. I'll find your sister in the mountain pass. Maybe. No, no. We'll find her. Just Meh. Not we'll in one piece. And yeah, we actually have to go up over here. Yeah, I was like, weren't you, don't we need to go the way you guys came from? Yeah, I, I was mean, wondering why you guys you, came back. I was like, what? Unless you really feel like crawling through the aether fire. We tried that once. <laughs> Guessing it didn't go well, hey? It did not. No, rarely ever does. We tried, though. <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple places where I've gone through the Aether Fire. I'm like, is this a good idea? Sometimes the answer is sort of at best. That was a big ass spider. Eh, it was like a, mo a medium sized spider at best. You want big ass spiders? Go play Skyrim. Mm, Those are big yeah. ass spiders. Uh, anybody got a piece of dy dynamite on hand? I do. There's a chest over there that can only be opened with some. That wasn't worth it. Nope. Of course it's a one hand gun. Yeah, the one thing that uh, with Skyrim is like the spiders look so stupid that I barely even see them as spiders. Oh, I mean, some people, it freaks the shit out of them, because, I guess, like, people have, like, really severe arachnophobia can't stand them. That's why there's a mod to make them look like Spider-Man, and it's I, silly I mean, I, and hilarious. I, I used the mod to make them look like Spider-Man, because I found it funny. I just like the, the Macho Man Randy Savage Dragons. <laughs> yes. More than the Thomas the Tank one? Yes. Ah, uh, Thomas the Tank's also really good. P personally, I like the Macho Man once more. The fact that Skyrim is actually still, you know, enjoyable to play all these years later is actually pretty impressive. Meh. I mean, then again, I guess I consistently play shit way older than that, too. 
To be fair, the only way Skyrim is enjoyable anymore is if you mod the ever-living hell out of it. Yeah, okay. I'll absolutely give you that. <laughs> Mind you, I thought that since, like, the second time I played it. Like, it's like Minecraft. Like, the vanilla game is just not enjoyable anymore. Alright, I'm gonna quickly run back to the Dead Man's Gulch here and turn in those quests. Uh, wait. I can't remember if I need to turn those in now or after we get to Homestead. Yeah, okay, the one you need to wait until we get to Homestead. Whatever, there's some experience. Yeah, the vanilla experience was really only enjoyable like the first time, then it's like, okay, there needs to be some mods. And I mean, for me, that's always been I me mean, with uh, Minecraft. I could not play much of that without mods. Well, like, we played a lot of vanilla Minecraft. No, we didn't. I played a lot of vanilla Minecraft. But, like, after a while, it just got to be pretty stale because there's not. There realistically isn't a lot of game in Minecraft. Despite no, there is how... not open the game is. No, I will... Mind you, I will sit there and waste hours playing, like, a Sky Factory. I love playing Sky Factories. I mean, I've lost track of all the mods that me and Noble have played. Hey, guys. Huh? Nope. There's a star dude over here. There's a hero monster somewhere? Uh, to me? We gotta go north, don't we? Yep. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff to the south for, like, side quests and stuff, and I know there's a devotion shrine down there, but we don't need to get it yet. Yeah, I figure we're pretty much just in the truck and our way through this the story, and then, like, before we head off to go do the DLC stuff, we'll run back and hit all the shrines we missed. Yeah, especially because there's a couple in Act 1 that we couldn't even get, as well as like a quest that is all like hidden path shit that we have to do later. And, and I know there's a handful of shrines that are just really out of the way. Yeah. Thankfully there's none that are too bad in... Um, well, in either uh, Ashes of Malmoth or uh, Forgotten Gods. Like, the ones that we get to, they're all pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's our rift. Scepter. I like scepters. Oh, it's a scepter. Plus one to all skills and inquisitor. Fuck yeah. Uh, hey, thunderstruck chain belt of the void. Zoom tight. There's a. Th that is actually a massively better belt than what I have because I was still wearing a yellow one. No.
Clear out the infestation. I'm gonna go and quickly talk to Ulgrim now back in uh, Dead Man's Gulch, and then I guess now that we've gotten to Homestead, uh, we call in it there for the night. Oh, is that the end of chapter two? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, Homestead does start up into all the stuff up in this area, yeah. So that is the end of chapter two. Mm hmm. It's pretty good progress. And Ulgrim is there in Homestead now, if you want to turn in that quest. Uh, yeah, let me go find him. He should be upstairs. I wasn't sure you'd make it. I wish I'm going to. Hooray! God. Here's a quest that'd be fun to do. Go into the immolation, and then into Port Valbury if we really hate ourselves. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe, but... Yeah. Oh, I forgot all about the relics. Yeah, I just crafted me one already. Oh, I don't remember what I'm supposed to get. I got one that already like gives me a bonus skill to do a wielding, and gives me some extra damage. So I was supposed to get one specifically because of what's on it, which I oh, think it's God. this one. Yeah, Squall, which I actually have the stuff for. Yeah. Uh, Squall has lightning damage. It has a 5% chance of giving me an extra 108% lightning damage. And it gives you it skill does, Lightning Storm, too. It, it gives a Lightning Storm skill, and it also Damn. does Electrocute Retaliation damage. Damn. Ignifar's Combustion. What the? Okay, that's one of my, like, Hot level mythical relics. Yeah, I think I'm supposed Man, to go from that nice. to I. I go from that, the one I just got, to Eye of the Storm. I skip getting a uh, a transcendent at all. Oh, okay. Eye of the Storm just goes here. Have even more elemental damage. Oh, plus yeah. all skills in shaman. Plus more elemental damage. And that's on an aura. Of... Yeah. Shit, and the freaking lightning retaliation on top of that, too. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, um, got, it goes real hard on that one. I got one in here. Is it this? No. Now I finally have a second skill to use, and it can go on my right-click button. Because it just does that! Oh, jeez. Yeah, Serenity's one of my higher level ones. Uh... No, oh, well, yeah. where'd you go? Over here. Over where? Over here. Over where? Over here. Descriptive. Pot kettle black. On the map. <laughs> Here you go. What is this? This is a lightning storm. I hate it. Beat the shit out of that target dummy. Yeah, the lightning storm should help for mobs. Because it can hit, <laughs> like, two grand ticks. Oh, nice. Which is pretty good. I wish I had remembered to get that sooner. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's go raid somebody. Let's get out of here for the night. Yeah. Let's uh, find someone who's on the raid. GDQ's playing Doom. Which Doom? Doom 2016. Hmm. LRR's playing Returnal. I got a buddy who's playing uh, Elden Ring. Uh, I'm, so I'm going to be so glad to be done with Bloodborne after this week. <laughs> it should should be our last episode of Bloodborne this week. So tomorrow we should be doing Axiom Verge, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah. The game's not frozen, by the way. It just pauses whenever it's in the background of anything, and it's awful, and I hate it. 
Um, yeah, so tomorrow we should be doing Axiom Verge. There's a chance we might have VGR, who is the dev for the randomizer. Not the dev for the game, to be specific, but the dev for the randomizer joining us to do races, which would be awesome because I haven't raced with VGR in a long time. And I haven't raced with VGR. That is also true. He used to be really good, so. Uh, Thursday, me and Jacob should be here doing Bloodborne. Uh, it should be our last episode of Bloodborne this week. Uh, I emphasize should because I actually don't know. It all kind of depends on if whatever comes up and how long it takes us to get through the content we have to do on Thursday. Friday, Saturday, I won't be here. Sunday, I might be doing something with Chris. I'm not going to say what yet because I want it to be a surprise, but keep your eyes out for that one because you guys will enjoy it. Uh, in the meantime, though, I think we are going to just pop over to GDQ's channel because I like Doom 2016. Alrighty. I'll catch you later, Seraphim. Have a good night. Have a good night, Noble. See you Have noble. a good night. I will, uh, we won't be here for, we won't be here doing Grim Dawn next week, uh, because Thoriel's on nights next week. So I will probably do Fax and do Remastered next Tuesday, and then we'll probably be back to this the week after. But, uh, yeah, let's go say hi over on the GDQ channel and check out what's going on with Doom. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.